a new paradigm for ecological living. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 126. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 126, August 23rd, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering with pictures and video one week of our team's progress and accomplishments. And if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can either subscribe to our YouTube channel or you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, Designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members and those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 50% of the content for the quantity and quality lesson plan to the website. You can see this work here. In addition, and behind the scenes, we wrote the final 50% of that lesson plan, bringing it to 100% written completion. We also completed and added the final 50% of the mind map for the Planet Earth lesson plan to the web page, and you can see that mind map here. And we featured the Planet Earth lesson plan across our social media channels using this image that Lucas from the graphic design intern team helped us create. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food featured our open source Ayuko Hub across our social media channels using this new social media image we created. We also researched and added additional recipes to the open source Casa Banana Hub, which you can see here. More recipes from our food self sufficiency transition plan will be added to each of the individual hubs in the future. Last but not least, we added three new delicious recipes from Sandro Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your BQ? We added these to the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan, and they include breakfast bowls, mock tuna salad sandwiches, and rainbow roasted vegetables. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team working behind the scenes on Highest Good Housing began working on the site selection, preparation, and finishing details for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This included setting up the initial outline, adding photos and descriptions of some of the tools you see here, and starting the narrative for the step-by-step -step process. We're now 10% complete with this. In addition to this, Sayonara, a member of the architecture and planning intern team, added the wood ceiling, fan, changing rooms, and other details to the 3D model of the communal shower designs for the Earthbag Village Pod 1. She then worked on the central area and new roof for the second floor of the Straw Bale Village Pod 2 and rounded the walls on the floor plan to match the circular design of the structure. 
Adolfo from our mechanical engineering intern team worked with Chago and Isael from the electrical intern team on the electrical layout, design, and cost analysis for villages 2, 3, 5, and 6. Meanwhile, Amari gathered additional components for a real-world working model of the shower heat capture that he is working on designing. Velma finished researching air creep mixers and foaming agents and put the results in the charts and tutorials she created. And Samantha, a member of the architecture and planning intern team, finished writing the tutorial on how to use dialects for the lighting plan. She also worked on the final renders of the shipping container village pod 5. Thavia brought the corrections and layout for the Cobb Village Pod 3 to 70% completion in AutoCAD, as you see here. And Hakel and Diana, also members of the architecture and planning intern team, created 2D and 3D drawings of the exterior of the Earthship Village Pod 6 and created renders for its interior and exterior areas. Erica, Pedro, and Victor from the architecture and planning intern team brought the architectural design for the compressed earth block village pod 4 to 80% completion, which included adding the layouts for the kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, and public restrooms. They also started creating images of the exterior facade. Sarah, a number mem another member of the architecture and planning intern team, used AutoCAD and Rhino to design structural and architectural components of the units in the treehouse village pod 7, as you can see here. And Dice from the architecture and planning intern team brought the site plan and layout of houses, hostels, and entertainment areas for the Treehouse Village to 100% completion, as you can see here. Gabrielle finished new renders of a cut open version of a dome for the three dome cluster in the Earthbag Village. He also worked with Flavia to create additional images for the Duplicate City Center's palette furniture, as you see here. And Gilberto from the graphic design intern team continued his 3D modeling project for a complete realistic walkthrough of the Earthbag Village. Here you see views he created of the exterior of both a three dome cluster and a six dome cluster. Last but not least, Anna continued modeling details of the ultimate classroom, this time adding color schemes and furniture. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued updating the SketchUp 3D for the Duplical City Center. This week, we finished 30% of the walking paths on the ground level and about 70% of the bathroom and bedroom layout updates in the Living Dome. You can see those here, and we'd say we're about 20% complete with the 3D update. In addition, Civil Engineering intern Hanata researched and designed windows for the Duplical City Center. This included research on finding energy and cost-efficient windows and skylights, as well as designing the triangular windows for the domes. Mike started to create Revit files for the kitchen, and then reviewed the kitchen designs for the shipping container village and the Earthship village. Ricardo Carrillo, design consultant and principal of Acumen Industries and the structural intern team, Gabriel, Beatriz, Fernando, Rodrigo, and Marilio continued to run the analysis for the structural integrity of the interior of the residential dome and finalized appropriate beam sizes for the dome. They also ran calculations on the residential dome to see how wind from yet another direction would affect the structural integrity. Jogo, Isidora, Zhao, Mateos, and Roberto from the hydraulics intern team updated the plumbing based on changes the architectural team made. And they also added 30% to the 2D version of the cold potable water and sprinkler designs, bringing them to 90% completion. Additionally, they started the cost analysis for the sprinkler system for fire protection. And last but not least, Mike Hogan, automation system developer and business systems consultant, guided Fabio, Lucas de Souza, Lucas Tetsui da Silva, and Henrique of the electrical intern team on updating details of the control panel for the Duplical City Center. They also worked on the calculations for the breakers and created sketches for the circuits. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Lucas from the graphic design intern team began creating badges for the award system in the highest good network application. These will be awarded when users achieve certain goals for the weekly hours and activities they log with our organization. Manuela from the graphic design intern team continued working with service design student Carolina on the online presentation document for the Treehouse Village. They added illustrations for the service design and architectural processes. They also began recording videos that illustrate the different purposes of the village and started preparing 3D prototypes. 
Eduardo, another member of the graphic design intern team, researched more royalty-free images and music for the community, one community promotional video and started creating it in the program After Effects. Graphic design intern Manasse started working on the digital version of the layout of the Shipping Container Village section of the online presentation book he is creating for all seven of one community's villages. Igor, Marcos, Mateos, and Natalia of the software development intern team further developed the layout and coding of the award badge system for the Highest Good Network application. They also continued coding the charts for the reports page. And last but not least, mobile software developer Gustavo continued work on the One Community iPhone app, including finishing the comments feature and implementing the persistent login, so you do not need to log in every time you open this app. He also created the option to send QR code content by email. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. A new paradigm for ecological living is possible if enough people want it. The purpose of one community is to make that easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate a model of living that is attractive enough so this new paradigm of ecological living will spread on its own. Our idea and our way of doing that is to open source and free share the foundations of sustainable living and building sustainable civilizations from scratch. What this means is taking physical sustainability components of food, energy, and housing, combining those with the emotional sustainability components of education, high good economics, for-profit, non-profit business creation, as well as truer stewardship and fulfilled living models, putting these together as an evolution of sustainability and creating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that are designed to be self-sufficient, self-sustainable, and self-replicating because they're easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrated as attractive enough that people want to build them around the world. We're creating all of the open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for creating exactly that. And our idea is to bring together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, the people that believe that this is possible, believe that it should happen, and the time is now and that we are the ones that we've been waiting for to create this new paradigm for ecological living and to forward it for all of humanity and to build a better world for everybody. We believe that by doing this we can build a bridge between idealism and pragmatism, putting these two things together to create a way of life that will positively and permanently transform this planet and benefit every living person and creature on it within our lifetime. A self-replicating model is capable of doing all this. So if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if a new paradigm for ecological living is something you'd like to participate in, we have lots of different ways to do that, ranging from the pioneer members, which are the people that will move to the property with us and help build all of one community as the initial prototype, to satellite members who are operating behind the scenes, joining us on our weekly calls, and a part of our team, the core team, uh, making all the decisions, uh, to consultants and partners, the people that are helping behind the scenes, donating their time just to help forward the project, working on the areas that are most interesting to them. And of course, also the one of the easiest ways to help us is to join us through social media, to share our information on social media, because we are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. And the only way that this will spread is if enough people know about it. And so our idea of easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough is to make it something that people will want to, want to spread, will want to share. So if there's something that you like and you'd like to share, it, it's a huge help. We are on all the different social media networks. We are on Facebook. We are on Twitter. We are on Tumblr. We are on Reddit. We are on Sue. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Pinterest. And we are on about 10 to 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to access the information with the social media and the social networks that they enjoy most. Also, of course, each week we say, you know, the number one thing that could help us right now, because our team is an all-volunteer and all-unpaid team, is large-scale funding. We've been working with the large, the, uh, the same property for four and a half years now, but we're still seeking large-scale funding to get that property off the market to help us to share it so that we can share the location, so we can get boots on the ground, so we can start building everything that is one community and take our whole open source pro project and process to the next level as we start building the first teacher demonstration hub, the Earthback Village, and inviting people to come out and participate in that building process to visit as an ecotourism destination, ultimately establish ourselves with the necessary infrastructure and financial uh, resources or financial revenue stream to be able to build and expand indefinitely. And so, but to get that whole process started requires large scale funding. And so if you are someone that knows somebody or somebody who would like to donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization as a tax deduction or like to invest in one community, we would like to speak with you. 
This is what we're up to. This is how we're creating a new paradigm for ecological living, teacher demonstration hubs, communities, villages, solution models that can help to create additional solution creating models. And a self-replicating model like this is something that if you run the numbers, if one were to generate two, were to generate four, were to generate eight, and if the communities were only 50 people, but we're meant to build communities of hundreds, thousands of people, but if they were only communities of 50 people, we could transform this planet, create food self-sufficiency, energy self-sufficiency, new lifestyles, and a new way of living for every single person on this planet in less than 50 years. We believe that this is possible. And we invite anybody who agrees with us or would like to participate or just hopes that this is possible and like to be a part of it to join us, to get involved, to help us create a new paradigm for ecological living that anybody can participate in in the way that they want. And for people that don't want communities, everything that we're doing is modular. It's meant to be implemented as just a, a garden or as just an aquaponics uh, structure or as just a guest house or as just a home for yourself. All the elements that we're creating, the education program, the fulfilled living models, everything is meant to be implemented as individual components as well, shared through the internet so people can participate in the way that they want. And of course, open source so that if you disagree with the way that we're doing something or would like to create it different or would like to create it better, it's open source to make that as easy as possible. And once again, to help the ideas spread in different versions, different iterations, and once again, to make, make the world a better place because everything that we're doing is created with that consciousness for the highest good of all. This is how we're creating world change. If you like what we're doing, join us. And of course, thank you to everybody for the small donations, $5, $10, $50 that make a huge difference. Since none of us are paid, those help our pay our web fees, our nonprofit expenses, etc. It's very, 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 very much appreciated. And of course, thank you for following our progress and sharing our information on social media. Uh, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. You, of course, get more details on our written blog if you'd like more specifics about everything that we're talking about. And uh, if you, of course, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel as well if you'd like to receive notifications that way. Thanks for following our progress. Until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.